So uh, in this first part uh, of the test, I'd like to ask you some questions about your hometown. So uh, please describe your hometown a little. Um, the city I come from is St. Petersburg, and it's a cultural as well as industrial center of our country. My city is densely populated, uh, over 5 million Denizens are living there. Okay, so uh, yes, it's a bit too long for part one, and uh, don't be surprised if the examiner uh, stops you in the middle and says, okay, thank you, and move on to the next one. Um, that's a nice answer. Uh, when you talk about your hometown, you can mention that at every turn, there is something to catch your eye. Maybe not in this question, but um, maybe when you answer another question, you can use this. At every turn, there is something uh, to catch your eye. So we have a lot of tourist attractions to catch your eye. Okay, I think it's, it's a really nice one. So what is your town well known for? Um, I believe uh, wealth of history and culture is a primary source of attraction for tourists. People uh, come uh, there to visit museums and many places of historic values such as Hermitage and Russian Museum, just name a few. Mm -hmm. name, name but a few. Okay, so uh, here's a good phrase. Uh, St. Petersburg is steeped in history. So that's a really good one. Uh, personally, I learned it when I was taking a C2 proficiency course. So I, mm -hmm. I never heard it in advanced or intermediate levels. So when I was studying at C2 level, I learned this expression. So I believe it should be quite advanced. Now, um, do you like your hometown? I would say definitely yes. It's never boring, um, no matter what your interest. Uh, one thing I particularly like about it uh, is that uh, there are a plethora of small and intimate places um, so, uh, such as peaceful gardens and small uh, friendly restaurants. Okay, so um, uh, is that a big city or a small place? Uh, frankly speaking, I live in a huge uh, sprawling city. It provides city dwellers with all necessary facilities and it also um, uh, has developed infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how long have you been living there? Uh, let me think. Uh, well, um, I have been living there almost for 11 years. Uh, however, a year ago, I found a new job in Finland, so I had to move uh, here for a time. Okay, you can use past perfect continuous here. I had been living there for 11 yes, years so until... I was thinking that, because mm -hmm. now I, I don't live. I yes, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, do you think you will continue living in St. Petersburg for a long time in the future? Uh, to be brutally honest, um, I leave uh, open uh, the opportunity to come back to St. Petersburg because uh, there are a lot of things to do and places to go. And what's more important for me, uh, St. Petersburg is the city of in infinite um, possibilities for ambitious and career-driven people like me. Okay, so make a full class sentence. What is important to me is that. Uh, right, because what is important to me, then you make a pause. In speaking, it's possible, but just mm -hmm. uh, demonstrate this full construction. Uh, okay, so uh, how has your town changed over the last 20 years? Uh, I would say it has undergone sweeping changes. For instance, many ancient buildings uh, have been restored and um, modern ones have been erected. Uh, therefore, it has turned into a remarkable tourist attraction. Okay, so uh, in speaking part two, please tell me about a time when you watched a live sports event. You should say what the sports event was, where and when the sports event took place, why you watched it live, and how you felt about watching it live. So if you're ready, please start. Um, well, from my childhood, uh, I'm keen on figure skating, which combines both an art and um, uh, a sport in which people skate uh, around the ice doing jumps and spins. 
As far as I remember, it must have been three years ago when my family and I decided uh, to visit uh, live figure skating event. Uh, it was Russian uh, skating cha championship, which took place in St. Petersburg uh, Ice Arena or Rim. Um, well, my parents and I, uh, we are amateurs in figure skating. However, we, could, we couldn't miss um, a golden opportunity to cheer uh, a famous figure skater, Elizaveta Tuktamishova, who is a winner of various prestigious international and national competitions. I, I uh, purchased tickets in advance so we could fully enjoy and immerse in the figure skating atmosphere. Um, there are various kinds of disciplines in figure skating, uh, for instance, singles, uh, it's competitions for men and women. Uh, pair skating teams uh, consist of, consisting of uh, men and um, women skating together and the uh, ice dance, uh, where uh, women and men also skating together. Uh, that day, um, uh, ice rank was full of figure um, skating fans, which anticipated the appearance of the idols. Uh, when Elizaveta came on the ice rink to perform her new program, uh, we all uh, braced for a while. In her program, she included sophisticated jumps, spins, uh, step sequences. Uh, she included not only jumps, spins, the sequences, but also spirals. Uh, she was deeply immersed uh, in her character uh, while background music supplemented uh, her image. Uh, nothing compares with the feeling when you can see your favorite ice skater with uh, own eyes. And for me, it was a totally uh, worthwhile experience which I will never forget. Okay, um, good. So if you say I've been keen on figure skating, um, you, you don't say I am, like since my childhood, um, you need to use present perfect here. I have present, been present perfect before. So like I have known my best friend since my childhood. Uh, I have had my mobile phone for two years like this. So I've been keen on this since my childhood. Okay, men and women. Then you corrected yourself. So it's not woman, it's women. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. If uh, there is a problem, if you correct yourself too often, it can do more harm than good because then your fluency mark can be decreased if you correct yourself a lot. So if you do it once, that's okay. But if you do it a lot, then uh, it can really decrease your score. So it would even be better to leave the mistakes as they are and not to correct them if, there, if you do it too often. But once it's okay. So uh, then she included something, but also something. You can just use put not only in the beginning and use an inversion. Uh -huh. So not only did she include blah, 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 but she also included blah, blah, blah. All right. So uh, not too many questions have been reported for part three. But anyway, so what is the difference between watching sports events at home and at the stadium? Um, well, uh, I would say... Um... When you watch uh, live event, you deeply immerse uh, in the atmosphere of this event, uh, and um, you experience different feelings. Uh, rather, even if you just uh, sitting down uh, in front of silver screen, uh, and uh, you cannot. Uh, feel all the atmosphere okay so um how do you think um live sports events have changed uh due to the COVID 19 pandemic um i, I would say of course definitely um, there are a lot of restrictions uh, and all, these, these restrictions also influence um, uh, on the sportsman's uh, lives. Uh, they have to be more careful and uh, 
Um, as far as I know, for example, uh, now in, in um, uh, Sweden, in Stockholm, um, um, there is uh, ice skating championship worldwide, worldwide championship, and all sportsmen they live in uh, closed uh, uh, bubbles, so they do not allow to go outside. And they spend all their time only in um, hotels and uh, um, ice uh, and um, practicing on the ice. Land. Okay, so uh, to influence something, but to have an influence on something. If it's a verb to yeah, influence, influence, there is no preposition on after this. Okay, mm -hmm. now uh, do you think the situation will change for the better in years to come? It means with COVID change or with sport? Yes, yes, so the restrictions. Do you oh. think the situation will change in the future? Um, well, uh, I would say that um, I hope and I wish that it will change, it um, uh, will change uh, for the better uh, since uh, um, we may hear from um, news that uh, there are a lot of um, vaccine which is developing right now and they prove to be uh, um, successful and they uh, showed the um, high efficiency and safety for people Okay, thank you. That is the end of the speaking test.